Hi, everyone. My name is Guillaume Chatelet. I'm working at uh, the Google Compiler Research Team. And I'm going to be presenting you about measuring instruction latency with the uh, LLVM. So instruction latency are really core to instruction scheduling. Uh, we want to have the measurements. Um, th this value are usually provided by vendors in the form of PDFs, which are not quite easy to parse, and they may be incomplete. Um, moreover, uh, having the, the data put in the TD files is sometimes not so easy. You need to understand the hierarchy and how it's built. So as a consequence, the memory model, the, sorry, the scheduling model for x86 is not uh, always um, complete. So we want to remediate that. So here, we, here is what we do. We just uh, repeat one instruction 10,000 times, and we measure it. And we have a number of cycles. We divide it by 10,000, and then you have the latency for this instruction. Well, this is the theory. Uh, in practice, what happens is that the processor is smart. It will try very hard to parallelize the execution of these uh, uh, instructions. So we need a way to make sure that um, those instructions will be sequential. So um, just a few seconds on this. It's, it's a diagram I will be using on the next slides. It represents an instruction. Um, the opcode is in the middle. Uh, it has inputs uh, called uses in, uh, in uh, LLVM and defs, which are the outputs. There are two kinds of them. Uh, some are explicit, you need to pick a value for them. And some are implicit, you don't get to choose. It's here. So uh, dark color are implicit, and uh, lighter ones are uh, explicit. So with this, uh, if we want to make sure that the instructions are serial, uh, serial uh, you just need to make sure that one instruction will depend on the output of the previous one. And that's it. Let's pick an example, the AAA instruction. Uh, this one is pretty simple. You don't get to choose anything. Uh, everything is implicit. So uh, the output of the instruction is E flags, but it also consumes E flags. So it's, this one is going to be serial, whatever. It's also going to be serial because of the other registers. It writes AX and it uses AL. But those two uh, registers are uh, sharing some common memory. So there's aliasing here. So for two reasons, this one is implicitly sequential. So for other kinds of instruction, like this one, uh, you just have to pick uh, an output that is the same as the input. And then you have a cycle, and then it's, a, it's serial. Sometimes it's not feasible, uh, like this one, because the input and the output are not compatible. So um, we devised an algorithm to pick another uh, instruction that will consume the same time as the output and will output the same time as the input the, of the other one. So if you put those back to back, you're going to have some uh, sequential execution. So you can do this with uh, more complex uh, instructions like this. Uh, keep, in keep in mind that this is a fully automated process. Uh, it's going to be randomized, so it's going to pick different instructions and try different things and measure different things. So the results, uh, you just um, call this tool with this um, with the instruction, and you ask for latency. It will just give you, this is the latency that I measured. With this tool, we identified a few discrepancies between the TD files and what's in the manual, so uh, we can actually fix it. What's next? Uh, right now, we only deal with the registers. We don't deal with memory, and this is something that we want to do because it's something like uh, half of the instructions. Uh, we also want to automate or at least help fixing the TD files by pointing where the error are. And we want to measure the effect of uh, values that are immediate values. For instance, if you have uh, instruction dealing with floating points and you have denormal values, is this going to impact the latency? Or uh, if you have NANDs or infinities, is it going to impact the latency of the, of the instruction? OK, and we want to make it work on other um, CPUs, like ARM is underway, and uh, we'll be working on power next. OK, try it out. Thank you. <laughs>